The children make their own toys too. That's, that's, uh... I make guns. It's an innocent echo of a terrible battle that happened here 70 years ago. By August 1942, the outmanned, outgunned Aussies had pulled back from Daniki to Ishirama. Here, they met the Japanese juggernaut in a fierce and bloody firefight. Reinforcements rushed from the Middle East. 500 men against 6,000. Japanese mountain guns rained down on the Australian position, then with relentless human wave attacks up the steep gullies. The Australians hurtled them back with grenades, rifles and machine gun fire, and then with bayonets and ferocious hand-to-hand -hand fighting. The young diggers of the 39th like Private Spud Wheeler knew as expected of them. And he said, we got a message from Moresby that the second 14th were on their way and we had to stay here and fight till the death. And that was horrifying. I thought, well, I won't see my family again and I won't see Australia again. But like all my mates, I was prepared to stay there and fight till the finish. That lament haunts every heart. But it's especially touching for one of our party. So that's him? Howdy, that's him just there. Wow. Mm. Very full on. It is full on, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 20 year old Abby is here for her grandfather George, a survivor of Kokoda, who Bill and I met before our trip. That's George. Yeah, that's him right there. So that was them um, directly following the Battle of Isharava on their way back up the track. So. And how does that make you feel? Oh, just it's so overwhelming the fact that I'm standing here where he stood and he had so much courage and endurance going through all of that and just to the fact that he thought he wasn't going to get to live any more days when this battle was happening they were quite sure that they were this was their last night on earth so yeah. the fact he's grown to the ripe old age of 93 and is still going it's really emotional so he would have been yeah. wearing these very dog tags when this photo was taken that's right yeah so i've been carrying them right next to me the whole time 